practical work and assessment to stimulate students' participation and motivation in fluid transport issues. The main objective of this paper is to evaluate the impact of changes in the assessment methodology in the final uh, student's grade and also analyze uh, the student's perception regarding different types of assessment. Uh, with that, it will be possible to identify and adopting which teaching me uh, learning methodology may be the most effective. To fulfill these objectives, some uh, research questions, two main research questions, were uh, uh, formulated. And uh, uh, the first one are, how do students perceive the assessment methodology? And uh, does the assessment methodology change the student's attendance to the class? And three more uh, sub-research <coughs> questions was formulated. How important is the practical work in students' learning process? Is the practical work effective to prepare students for the challenge of the professional life when used as an autonomous tool and which competence did the students acquire? So, uh, uh, the, uh, chemical in chemical engineering is divided into cycles. The uh, uh, fluid transport system is a course, uh, is part of this curriculum and uh, is uh, uh, in the second uh, year, the first semester. And this course has a total of four, uh, four hours per week, one theoretical and three uh, practical classes. And uh, this course gives fundamental knowledge in fluid mechanics that will be uh, enable uh, <coughs> uh, them to design a fluid transport system and select associated <coughs> equipment. This course has two moments, uh, two ways of assessment. Uh, the students could choose, may choose between the uh, four individual uh, uh, tests, two group tests and the practical work, or the second case with a practical work and the uh, final exam. Each practical work in each case has 15% and the other 85% in the first case is divided for the several moments of evaluation and in the second case uh, the 85% is for the final exam. So, analyzing some historical data, we can see that the students uh, approved uh, in each year in percentage about 70% is lower value along these years. And we can see that this uh, year is the, exactly the year when the, student, the practical work was not done. The other years, the students do the practical work. Regarding the average based on the uh, average student's grade, based on uh, the approvals the students approve, and based on uh, the students that can at least one exam, uh, we can see the similarity of these values. And these similarities, uh, that means the students who propose to go to the exam get a positive classification. This occurs only in the two last years. This graph shows the attendance <coughs> to the theoretical class. And uh, if, if you, uh, we can see that the students have more attendance in the last two years exactly the years where the several moments of evaluation was uh, performed. If we see the, uh, the attendance to each class, each week, we can see that the attendance each week is in general to the theoretical classes is in the days when evaluation moment, uh, evaluation moment occur. Uh, and we can see also the low attendance to the first and second exam and is due to the several uh, moments of evaluation. So the uh, students, uh, the uh, majority of the students have approved in the frequencies. So uh, with this first result, we can uh, answer this question. Does the assessment methodology change the students' attendance to class? And the answer is yes. 
So many for uh, so for more uh, uh, research questions, we mind, and uh, uh, for this uh, we do a questionnaire uh, that is uh, uh, under to the students, and uh, the students took about ten minutes to uh, uh, to, to to answer this question. <coughs> And the questionnaire includes several questions, uh, several groups, namely uh, characterization of students, course organization and function, learning styles, student perception, technical and soft skills, and also activities effectiveness. So uh, the, a total of under, uh, under eight students uh, participated in this study and 90% of the enrolled students and 67% uh, uh, of the students have an age of 19 years old. <coughs> to answer the first research question, uh, how do students perceive the assessment methodology, were selected three items of the questionnaire related with the course organization and function and are number 12, number 13 and number 14 and uh, uh, analyzed together with the individual <coughs> and group students grade. Uh, uh, number 12, the evaluation through question problems and small tests during the theoretical lesson was beneficial to my learning and uh, number 13, for the intermediate assessment, I prefer several question problems and small tests during the theoretical class are in the same mean. And uh, number 14, for the intermediate assessment, I prefer to carry out a single <coughs> moment of evaluation and test with the opposite means. <coughs> the students punctuated these items with uh, a five uh, point like Likert scale, and they do not distinguish between the two academic years. Uh, so the analysis will be done as whole. And as expected, the students punctuate the uh, item 12 and 13 with the approximately the same values, and the, num the, the number 14 with the lower value. <coughs> When the average grade uh, for the uh, for individual assessment moments were analyzed, again this item number twelve, uh, it is not uh, defined a pattern. So, uh, for example, students that are strongly in the Z group uh, obtain the highest and the lower grade. However, all the students uh, that are in complete agreement obtain a positive grade. <coughs> in that graph, in the bottom <coughs> graph, the marks size and color intensity reflect the number of students in each grid cell. By considering the final grade according to the same item, 11, 12, we agree, uh, um, we observe that even students that failed were a somewhat positive agreement and the majority of the students with positive or final grade strongly agreed that the evaluation adopted was so beneficial to their learning. So the answer to the research <coughs> question number one could be student perceived best agreement if they uh, have several moments of evaluation. To measure how important is a practical work uh, with the learning process, we we'll analyze a set of technical, uh, technical skill items. Some of them are uh, number four, practical work is used for the school in supporting uh, the curricular unit. Practical, overall, the practical wall, uh, work helped me to assimilate the concepts that meet through the semester. Uh, overall, the practical work was uh, made, by, uh, uh, made my learning more objective. Overall, the practical work motivated me to the curriculum unit. And overall, I felt motivated to carry out the practical work. 
as expected, large students agree that practical work is an important tool in their learning process. Only few students do not consider that the practical work development has motivating effect to the curricular unit. To answer this research question, we can conclude that practical work is an important tool in their learning process. <clears throat> in order to understand how students perceive the practical work and their level of agreement regarding practical work effectiveness and as an autonomous tool, the item uh, uh, technical skill 11 do, do you consider that practical work should be carried out before the content has been solved? Was related with the five items that measure the activity effectiveness. That are the, these five uh, items. In average, students consider the tra traditional teaching learning methodology <coughs> as the most effective. That is, theoretical classes where the teacher presented the content using practical example and theoretical practical class where application exercises are solved uh, as a mean of 430. With the lower effectiveness, students consider the methodology where students is required a previous study of theoretical concepts proposed by teacher followed by a discussion in theoretical class on the application of these concepts. This table summarizes the values of the Spearman coefficients obtained. None of the five <coughs> items show a significant correlation with items 11, technical skills 11. We conclude that the students consider the traditional teaching learning methodology as the most effective. <clears throat> to answer this uh, sub-research question, which competence did students acquire, we analyzed the answer that the students give to the items related with the soft skills acquired with the practical work. This figure shows the, the, the distribution of the students' evaluation for the five soft skills items considered in the questionnaire. The items evaluated uh, more positively correspond to the soft skills, uh, soft skills number three, provide necessary knowledge for my uh, area of study. Uh, the number one, encourage collaborative work and the number T stimulate my intellectuality curiosity. The students were able to identify that the development of the practical work and several moments of assessment help in provide knowledge to the higher and the study. As you see, the item number four and number five has a bit lower values. So we can conclude that the methodology using several moments increases the students' attendance to the theoretical classes. The students prefer and consider more beneficial for their learning the assessment through several question problems and small tests during the theoretical lessons. Largely, students agree that the practical work is an important tool in their learning process on average, students consider <coughs> the traditional teaching learning methodology as the most effective and the majority of students were able to identify that the development of the practical work and several moments of assessment helps in providing knowledge to the area and the study, encourage their collaborative work and stim stimulate their intellectual curiosity. Thank you for your attention.